Making your own bacon is so accessible and really easy to do. And we're going to be using the Super Cure from Weschenfelder, which is a dry cure. And it's a plain cure. Uh, it comes in a two kilo bag. And we're going to flavor this with other ingredients. I like to use a combination of bay, juniper, and crap black pepper. When you're using Weschenfelder's Super Cure, you measure it out so that you get 5% of the Super Cure to the weight of the meat. And we've got a kilo of pork belly here, so I've weighed out 50 grams of Super Cure. The Super Cure is the curing agent. This is what is going to turn that pork belly into streaky bacon. The other ingredients are to give it a flavor profile. The Super Cure goes in the bowl. And I'm going to lightly bruise these juniper berries in the pestle and mortar. And then take some of the peppercorns and crack that in the pestle and mortar. And they also go in. And then some bay leaves. And I'm just going to tear those. And they also go into the bowl. So mix all of those up. All of those additional ingredients and the super cure now become the whole cure. I'm going to apply the cure all over the piece of pork. A bit about this piece of pork, it's been skinned and boned, although you can leave the skin on and cure it if you like a little bit more of a firmer rind on your bacon. So I'm just going to pop the cure and I'm going to distribute it evenly over each available surface area. I'm going to flip that over. Making sure we've got cure to rub into every little nook and cranny. After five to seven days, your pork belly will be bacon. It will be firmer and it will be darker. You can take it out of the fridge, slice it, cook it. It's ready to eat. It's got to be some of the best bacon you've ever tasted.